What's up YouTube is your boy King Daniax. Today I'm just gonna show you a simple way to do a dodge and burn. So this is a picture of a client. Uh, as I was editing, so I thought maybe let me make a tutorial for you guys showing you how I usually dodge and burn my pictures. I already done the retouching, but I'm still not done with the retouching. So this was the before and then this is the after. But then I have to do more, but I usually after I'm done with the frequent separation, I go straight to dodge and burn. So let's take you are done or everything is fine with the image. You just want to do dodge and burn. You can just press Control J. Let's just let's just do this. You make a duplicate of your image, just like that. Or you can also drag the original down here, which is gonna make it duplicate. Something like this. And then from here, you have to make two du duplicates of your image, something like this. And then you come to the bottom one. Let's just hide this one, come to the bottom one, and then you double click. This will represent the, 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 the more of the, the highlights. And then these are the shadows. You, you hide your shadows, and then you double click on your highlights. Or you right click and you go to blending options. So when you double click, it just lets you go. It takes you straight to blending options, blending options up here. Change the blend mode to screen, something like this. Don't worry, it's going to look like this, like it's overexposed. But this is how you usually do it. And then you come to blend if. Make sure here it's on gray. And then you come to this layer. And then you adjust this one. Just adjust this point here. Until you see the areas where you want the the, the, the torsion pen to cut uh, until you see the shadows of the of the subject where you prefer the the, the dodge to go on uh, you prefer the tax to be so i'm just gonna take it right here usually this one gives you the rembrandt lighting something like this i like this one i like how it looks then from here press alt on your keyboard and then click click here and then it's gonna separate this one from this one and just drag this to the to the end something like this just drag it to the end and then you press ok as you can see we are giving our, our image sort of like a 3d fill you know from a 2d to a 3d that's why we torsion pen then from here we go to shadows up here we just click here and then we double click again going to blending options blending options and then we come here blend mode and then we press we go to multiply and then we come down here now we're gonna pull this side which are the highlight side let's just drag this one drag drag this one until you see the tags below where your highlights were so do something like this i like it here and then press alt and then click here gonna do something like this but usually i press alt and then move this part this side not too much just a bit as you can see it's showing the shadows here then just drag this this side a bit which is gonna look like this just press ok and then from here i go to the opacity of the shadows then i bring them down a bit to around Maybe 70, it depends. Depends how dark your, your, your shadows are after you've done the blending options. So let's put them around 60. And then press Control and then select shadows. And then press Control G to create a group of the boat. And then you come to mask down here. Or you can just drag this and bring it down here. And it's going to create a mask. And then from here, go to image. Then from image, go to apply image. Make sure all your settings look like this. You can just copy from my screen. Make sure everything is like this and then just press OK. We're done our, with our dodge and burn. You won't notice the difference. But this is before and then this is after. Before and then this is after. You can come to shadows and increase a bit if you, you think it's too, too light. Something like this. Before, after, before, after. So thank you guys and uh, please subscribe to my channel. 
I'll keep on posting more short clips, just showing you how to do a few things. King Daniel signing out.